I'm setting the BPM I'd like my beat to match. Let's go for 160. To create the drums section, let's jump to the drums category in the browser and choose one of the presets. If this playback button is on, I can pre-listen to them by left clicking. I like this warehouse stutter kit and let's drag it to our first MIDI track. This is the drum rack preloaded with samples and it's already inside the instrument track with some preloaded effects. All these little squares here are MIDI notes and the lightened ones are filled with samples. You can preview them here. There are mute and solo buttons. I turn the computer MIDI keyboard on here or using amp shortcut and uh, now I can trigger these samples using keys on my laptop. To draw my sequence I need to create a MIDI clip. I'm double clicking on the first empty slot and with the clip this window appears. It's called piano roll. Here I can start painting with sounds. I'm adding drums in an order I want them to sound just by clicking here. Alternatively, I can press the session record button and record my keyboard finger drumming. I made sure that computer MIDI keyboard is on and now I'm turning on the metronome. Here you can set the amount of time between pressing record button and the start of the actual recording. I'll keep the one bar count in. Now let's go. So I've added the snare. I highlight the notes. And using the command U shortcut, I quantize them to the current grid. You can change the grid in the right click menu. Let's add some more drums here. I always need to make sure that the sound is not clipping, adjusting the level here. I can use this pencil tool. It can be turned on here or using B shortcut. Now I can draw with my samples like this. If I get back to my drum rack, I can find a lot of editing options of samples themselves and of the instrument's chain. Chains are another great tool in life. Using chains you can load multiple samples or instruments on just one MIDI track and process them separately. Each sample in this drum rack is a separate chain. Multiple tracks inside one track. It reminds me of Matryoshka doll. Such a great way to overcome track limitations. Let's try something. I'd like to layer my drum samples with new ones, taken from another rack. I'm going back to the browser and choosing another preset. Let's try this taxi kit. I open the chain list of the rack here, and if I add another instrument or sample, another chain will be created automatically. Let's listen to what happened. Now, my single MIDI clip is triggering samples from both racks at the same time. I can mute those samples which I don't want to use. I can edit each sample individually, making sure that my layered drums sound good together. Drum racks are also having their built-in return chain. I turn on this return chain in sense buttons, and now, if I place reverb here, send A controls of each chain will appear and I can send the exact level of reverb I want for each drum hit. With macro controls, you can map the specific parameters of the effects to a separate knob or even several parameters in one knob and use your MIDI controller to operate them. Now, when my first clip is ready, I need to make some variations of it to have different scenes for my future arrangement. For example, on this clip I can remove the hats on another clip I can delete something else and on another one I can only leave a kick with the snare. Next I'm going to work on some bass sound and show you another great instrument called Simpler. Feel free to follow the next chapter.